This is Top 5 Christmas Creations. Top 5 Structures is a show where you guys send in your best worlds for Minecraft on the Xbox 360 to the category of the video, which this week is Christmas Creations, which is anything to do with Christmas, a Christmas special, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun looking through the submissions, and I had a big smile on my face with every submission, because every submission was very good and very festive, and this is my favourite time of the year, and I hope you guys have a really good Christmas. But before we start the video, of course, I have to say that there is not going to be a top 5 structures next week simply because it will be uploaded on New Year's Eve and I'm going to take a break for it for a week. It will be back the next week, so the next top 5 structures will be ships and boats, so you guys have two weeks to um, prepare for it instead of one, so you guys uh, can have more building time, I guess, but that's just for this week, just so I can take a week break from it. And also I'm giving away my first prize who comes top, place 1600 Microsoft points to the winner of this Christmas creations for top 5 structures, so um, that's just a little Christmas gift yeah, I've um, always wanted to start giving prize for top 5 structures and now I'm able to, so it's great. But let's start the video, number 5th place comes from L Danny Panda. Now I'm really really sorry but I wasn't actually able to record the world because um, I was having a lot of issues joining uh, her world. I was trying to find loads and loads of solutions, but eventually we just couldn't do it, so I decided to use um, lots of pictures for her world. I'm really, really sorry. I hope you guys really do understand. But I couldn't choose another person for top five because it was too late, and also because it would be a bit mean if I said she was in top five and then she actually wasn't. But I guess it's not that important because you guys can see all the stuff included anyways. The main part of this was the giant 3D pixel art Santa Claus with his, uh, his sleigh and reindeers. I got a lot of submissions with like pixel art Santas and reindeers but this was by far the best one because of the amount of detail in it. It looked more realistic and it had uh, just a lot of detail especially on the sleigh and everything. And she also had uh, some nice Christmassy pics a lot, like a reindeer and a Christmas R2D2 and also a little gingerbread house as well and some other nifty little uh, Christmas decorations. So it was a good way to start this week's top 5. And yeah, it's just uh, a shame that I wasn't able to record the actual world, but that's fine. And I hope you guys understand. Number 4 spot comes from Anne Contert. I still am not able to pronounce his name. I... <laughs> I've tried to pronounce it about 10 times now, but I just can't say it. This was by him and his friend. This is basically a recreation of a little North Pole set. As you guys can see, it's in some sort of a little palace, like an ice palace. It looks really, really, really cool. It looks very festive with all the candy canes and all the snow and ice and all the Christmas trees and presents. It looks really, really nice, especially at night as well. It looks really detailed on the outside, you know, the exterior. Like, uh, it has a really nice, like, a... Uh, a uh, water entrance at the back as well, or exit I should say. And it was really cool, I really liked it. It was really um, uh, detailed, it looks like they put a lot of effort into the designs as well. Even the presents as well, you know, they're not just uh, plain old boring uh, square boxes, they've got ribbons as well on them. And they also said in about three days they'll be releasing the download link for this map. All you need to do is uh, click the YouTube channel for the contestant and contact, I think that's how you say it, in the description below. And then uh, uh, it's open for download, so then you can play it for yourselves or look, of, look at it for yourselves. So yeah, I like this map, so uh, a good job to and contact. Third place again, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name so I'm just going to call him Beeble. This was basically a massive um, Christmas village. It was absolutely huge, you guys. Uh, I'll do a, like um, an aerial view from the top so you can see how big it was. It was absolutely huge and also a nice palace at the end of it, you guys will see that later. And in the middle it had a, um, a little Christmas room split into four other um, rooms with Christmas trees at every corner which looked really really cool, I like the Christmas trees and also candy canes in the middle and it was surrounded by thousands literally hundreds of gingerbread houses uh, with cakes on the top now um, you guys might be wondering why this is only third and not second or first but well, it was just because everything was kind of the same it was um, all the houses were exactly the same that they had and there was nothing also in them so it was just one design of every house really copied and pasted although it was very big it's uh, quantity not quality 
But it was really, really good, so I had to include it in um, this countdown because all the houses must have taken ages. It must have taken ages, it's just that uh, he could have put a little more effort into the designs of the houses, you know, made, could have made them a bit different and also cut, could have done the interior of them as well. But the palace also looked nice, it had about uh, six snowmen in them as well, which looked really cool. And uh, I like this map, it was uh, really good to look around and you also got a very nice view from the top of the map. So a good job to Beeble. Second place comes to Henry Hacksaw. This was another kind of a Christmas little village. This was probably one of my favourite entries just because everything included was uh, something to do with Christmas. It was probably the most festive entry I got. Um, everywhere you looked it was had something to do with Christmas. All the houses were made out of gingerbread and they all have completely different designs. Everything was absolutely unique. You know, it pretty much had everything. It had pixel arts, it had houses, it had a massive Christmas tree, it had 3D pixel art such as the creeper with the Christmas hat. Everywhere you looked there was something different. I also had a massive giant Christmas tree in the middle. Again, all the designs were uh, unique and uh, different to all the other um, houses that were in the world. Uh, which I really liked about it, so you had something, uh, it, it, it means they put a lot more effort into the designs as well. And it also really, really cool pixel art with the um, baby Jesus as well. Um, the pixel art on that I thought was really, really cool. And it amazes me to see um, how people do these entries in just two weeks, I think it's insane. And uh, I think they do a really good job on them, and I really, really like these entries. And also the Christmas tree looks really, really good at night, you guys will see that at the end of the uh, at the end of the clip. But thanks a lot for this entry, Henry Haxel, and I wish you a Merry Christmas. Now the first place in this week's top 5 structures goes to Comic 1111. You guys should be familiar with Comic 1111 by now. He's been in uh, I think two other um, top 5 Chris, uh, not Christmas creations, uh, two other top 5 structures and he's an amazing builder. You guys will see in this um, entry he made a gigantic, gigantic Christmas tree which was um, underneath it was loads of giant presents and also a mini North Pole in the middle of it. And he also had a uh, train that was going round a Christmas tree as well. well. It wasn't going round a Christmas tree, it was like a little toy train. But of course, because it was a, a giant version, it was massive. And I thought that was really, really cool. And he also had a, uh, a table on the side with giant cookies and a lettuce to Santa. And a glass of milk for Santa. I really, really like Comic 1111. He's a really, really good build. And you guys apparently like him too with all his builds. He always tells me he tries to go with something really unique that someone else will do. And a really, really um <clears throat> different design. And that's what he's done here, you know. I, I, I haven't seen an entry with someone done like a, a giant version of a Christmas tree. Like a, as if you were, say, um, a, a miniature version of Steve or like an insect. And this was a normal sized Christmas tree. I thought it was really, really cool. And especially the North Pole in the middle of it, all the houses were really cool. And again, they had different designs and uh, different interior designs as well. So you could tell he really, really worked hard on this. I don't understand how you guys 
how you guys get all these designs and all these uh, ideas. I, I don't understand. You guys are amazing at all these. But congratulations to Comic1111 for coming first and winning the first prize for top 5 to actually 1600 marks of points. I will contact you when this video is uploaded. And also he said he's also releasing um, a download link for this map. So the link to his channel will also be in the description below. So go check him out. Thanks a lot for this entry Comic1111 and I also wish you a Merry Christmas. Well, that was this week's special Top 5 Shocks, Top 5 Christmas Creations. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a very good Christmas. Now in case you forgot, there will not be a Top 5 Shocks next week because of New Year's Eve. It will be um, it will be out the following week, so it will come in two weeks and that will be ships. It can be anything to do with uh, ships, you know, it can be uh, from a fishing boat, a pirate ship, a battleship. You cannot do floating ships uh, or spaceships, just uh, ships that go on the sea. Because I know a lot of people have uh, done loads of ships and uh, it would be good to see what you guys can send in. So get building on that, I guess you have two weeks to build. But to send in your submission, you have to send you have to send screenshots. Because um, you have to send screenshots so I can judge your world. I will not be visiting your world if you do not include screenshots. And you also have to include your Xbox Live Gamer tag so I can actually join your world. And you need to send all this to top 5 structures 360 at hotmail.co.uk. So good luck on that and Merry Christmas guys. I really hope you guys have a good one.